we can find the Darvis Boxes icon on the toolbar near the middle of the screen. In order to put Darvis Boxes on your graph, select the Darvis Boxes icon with either side of your cursor. Darvis Boxes are created when the price of a stock rises above the previous 52 week high, but then it falls back to a price not far from that high. If the price falls too much, it can be a signal of a false breakout. Otherwise, the lower price is used as the bottom of the box and the high as the top. In order to remove the Darvis boxes from your chart, simply click the Darvis boxes icon once more. When you want to have the crosshairs on your charting, click on the crosshairs icon, which is next to the Darvis boxes icon. While the crosshair mode is in use, you can move the crosshair over any price bar or any part of a price bar. The corresponding time and price values will be readily identifiable. The crosshair mode is also useful when determining specific time and price values, such as when looking for a recent high or low. In order to remove the crosshairs from your chart, simply click the crosshairs icon once more. The icon that is to the right of the crosshairs icon is the horizontal price line icon. Select this icon with your cursor for the horizontal price line to appear on your graph. This price line follows the current price. It can help you identify previous patterns of that currency pair when the current price moves. Now in order to remove the horizontal price line from your chart, simply click the horizontal price line icon on the toolbar.